Ever wondered why Portugal is known as the land of explorers? Tucked away on the southwestern edge of Europe, Portugal is a treasure trove of history and culture. It's a country that has given birth to explorers who dared to venture into the unknown and change the course of history. Yes, Portugal, the nation that once stood at the forefront of the Age of Discovery, is as intriguing as they come. Like a well-penned novel, Portugal's tale is filled with epic voyages, world-renowned explorers, and a spirit of discovery that continues to echo through its cobblestone streets. This is the land where the likes of Ferdinand Magellan and Vasco da Gama set sail, their journeys unveiling new worlds and etching their names into the annals of exploration. Yet, Portugal's intriguing nature extends beyond the tales of its explorers. There's a richness to its history, a vibrancy to its culture, and a charisma to its people that's deeply rooted in its geographical location. Nestled between Spain and the vast Atlantic Ocean, Portugal is a gateway to the unknown, a bridge between the old world and the new. Its geographic location has shaped its destiny, molded its culture, and kindled the spirit of discovery in its people. The Atlantic Ocean, with its endless horizon, served as the canvas for Portugal's golden era of exploration. And it continues to influence the country's culture, from its cuisine to its customs, from its music to its mindset. From the sun-soaked beaches of the Algarve to the vine-clad valleys of the Douro, Portugal's diverse landscapes are as enchanting as its history. It's a place where the past and the present coexist where ancient castles stand tall amidst modern cities, and where every corner holds a story waiting to be told. But there's more to Portugal than just history and explorers. Let's dive deeper. Imagine walking down the cobblestone streets of Portugal, where every corner holds a new adventure. In the heart of the country lies Lisbon, a city brimming with history and culture. Here you can visit the iconic Bellum Tower, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was once a fortress guarding the entrance to the city's harbor. Nearby, the Geronimo's Monastery stands tall, a testament to Portugal's age of discovery. But Portugal's allure extends beyond Lisbon. Venture south and you'll find the Algarve region, a haven for beach lovers. With its stunning coastline and crystal-clear waters, Algarve is a paradise for surfers and sunbathers alike. For the more adventurous, there's a myriad of water sports to try, from windsurfing to jet skiing. Moving inland, the Douro Valley calls to those seeking tranquility. This region is the birthplace of port wine and is renowned for its terraced vineyards that stretch as far as the eye can see. Here you can embark on a wine-tasting journey, sampling the flavors of the valley while soaking in the breathtaking views. For something different, head to the city of Porto. This charming city is known for its stunning architecture, with the Ribeira district offering a colorful display of houses and narrow streets. Visit the Livraria Lello, one of the world's most beautiful bookstores, and find inspiration among its ornate shelves. Finally, don't miss the opportunity to explore Portugal's natural beauty. The Penetagueres National Park offers stunning landscapes, from its towering mountain peaks to its lush valleys, making it a perfect spot for hiking or birdwatching. In essence, Portugal offers a diverse range of experiences. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an adventurer, or a beach bum, there's something for everyone. Each place in Portugal tells a different story, a story that's waiting to be discovered. What if I told you that Portugal's culinary scene is as diverse and rich as its history? Indeed, Portugal's food culture is a brilliant tapestry of flavors, woven together by centuries of exploration and trade. From the coastal towns to the countryside, every region has its unique culinary treasures. Let's start with the famous pastel de nada. This golden custard tart, lightly dusted with cinnamon, is Portugal's sweet ambassador to the world. It's a bite-sized piece of heaven with a flaky crust that gives way to a creamy custard center. Born in the monasteries of Lisbon, today it's enjoyed by people far and wide. Now let's venture into the savory. Bacalhau, or salted cod, is often said to be the Portuguese national dish. There's an old saying that there are more than 365 ways to cook bacalhau, one for every day of the year. Whether it's bacalhau a bras, shredded cod with onions and potatoes, or bacalhau a gomes de sa, a hearty cod casserole, this versatile fish is a staple in most Portuguese homes. Another must-try is francesinha. This meaty sandwich smothered in a spicy tomato and beer sauce is a specialty of Porto. It's a true comfort food, often served with a side of fries and a cold Superbach beer. As a country with a long coastline, Portugal's love for seafood is undeniable. 
From grilled sardines to hearty seafood stews, the freshness of the ocean is reflected in every dish, and of course we can't forget about Portugal's love for wine. From the full-bodied reds of the Douro Valley to the crisp Vinho Verde or green wine of Minho, Portuguese wines are as varied as the regions they come from. Whether you're a food lover, a wine enthusiast, or just someone who enjoys a good meal, Portugal's food culture has something to offer. Each dish is a window into the country's history and way of life, telling a story of exploration, trade, and tradition. A trip to Portugal isn't complete without indulging in its mouth-watering cuisine. From tranquil villages to bustling cities, Portugal has something to offer for every traveler. Let's embark on a virtual tour through some of the country's most popular travel destinations. First stop, Lisbon. Portugal's capital city is a vibrant blend of traditional heritage and striking modernism. From the historic neighborhood of Alfama, home to the hauntingly beautiful Fado music, to the trendy district of Bairro Alto, brimming with nightclubs and bars, Lisbon offers a fascinating mix of culture and fun. Next, we journey north to Porto, the city that gave the country its name and the world its famous port wine. The city's Ribeira district, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a must-visit. Its narrow, cobbled streets and traditional houses give you a taste of authentic Portugal. Don't forget to visit one of the port wine cellars for a sip of the city's signature drink. Now let's take a detour to Sintra, a fairy tale town nestled in the foothills of Sintra Mountains. Sintra is a treasure trove of captivating palaces and enchanting gardens. The Pina Palace, perched atop a hill, is an iconic symbol of Portugal's Romantic period. Finally, we arrive at Madeira, a group of islands located in the Atlantic Ocean. Known for its lush landscapes, towering cliffs, and exotic flowers, Madeira is a paradise for nature lovers. The island's unique gastronomy, particularly its namesake wine and honey cake, is a culinary delight. Each destination in Portugal is unique with its own charm and character. Whether you're exploring the winding streets of Lisbon, tasting port wine in Porto, marveling at the architectural wonders in Sintra, or hiking through the verdant trails in Madeira, you're bound to fall in love with this diverse country. No matter where you go, Portugal promises a memorable travel experience. But what about the hidden gems of Portugal, the places less traveled? Let's set sail to the Azores, an archipelago in the mid-Atlantic. This collection of nine volcanic islands is a paradise for nature lovers. It's like stepping into a world where time stands still. Verdant pastures roll into deep blue lakes, hot springs bubble under the surface, and massive cliffs overlook the endless ocean. The Azores is also one of the world's top destinations for whale watching, with more than 20 species calling these waters home. Now let's travel to the heart of Portugal and discover Evora, a charming city that's often overlooked by tourists. Evora is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with roots dating back more than 2,000 years. Its well-preserved old town is a labyrinth of narrow streets, whitewashed houses, and Gothic cathedrals. And let's not forget the Chapel of Bones, a fascinating if somewhat eerie site where the walls are lined with the bones of former monks. Evora is a living museum where past and present coexist in a remarkable harmony. Our journey now takes us to the Schist Villages, a network of 30 mountain hamlets tucked away in the lush hills of central Portugal. These villages, built from schist, a local stone, blend seamlessly with the landscape. Life here moves at a slower pace, providing a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. The schist villages are a testament to Portugal's rural traditions, where you can immerse yourself in local culture, sample homemade delicacies, and hike through scenic trails. These hidden gems of Portugal are not just destinations. They're experiences that offer a deeper insight into the country's rich heritage. They're the perfect places to soak up the authentic Portuguese culture, away from the crowds, where you can truly connect with the land and its people. So, are you ready to embark on your Portuguese adventure?